Bring it. Uh. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. This is the, uh, I'm Daniel, sorry. I uh, am, this is, no, we did this a long time ago. I know, we January did. of 2019. Yeah. It's almost two years. Right. So. This is the Johnny Walker This is White a Walker. gift. Yeah. There'll be Benevolent Bastard or Magnificent Bastard because we're gonna drink it again. Tim Vassberg. Tim Vassberg, you Benevolent Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to check for flavor drift on a special release Johnny Walker so and explain, see what happens. Explain the flavor so drift. So what happens over time is, um, in smaller distilleries it's more dramatic, Yes. Uh, when you create a new blend or a new release of any kind, you check it against previous releases to make sure that if somebody falls in love with say Jameson right. or uh, you know, Boone Hoven or Bemore 12, the next time they get it, it tastes the same. Yep. Right? Now, if you're a bigger distillery, you can usually replicate. You get all these reference points. You got multiple people involved. Right, hundreds of samples, people gathering together. They're taking yeah. copious notes on every little barrel. And, and the more barrels you have, the easier it is to wash out weird variants. Yeah. And a smaller distillery, if you're only like doing six barrel dumps at a time, mm -hmm. what you can get is it's really, really close to the last one, but it essentially becomes a game of telephone. Remember that game? Where someone says a word and then you whisper oh, yeah. it, whisper it, whisper it. When it comes back around, they say the word is buzzagajuga again. And right. you're like, I said dog, right? <laughs> right? It's like it, it, that can happen, which is it starts here, and if your reference points are always just the last one, right, or the first, or then you can sort of drift off, sure, right, and have some small variances. Right. I'm curious to see if there is such a thing, not on all the Johnny Walker, because I am, I can imagine in Johnny Walker red or black, it's going to be pretty. Serious. So about you're talking it. about like a limited release. A type limited thing. release type of okay. thing. I was just curious. Okay. And this gave us an opportunity to do oh, it. Oh, look at that. There's a thing there. Is that fair? That's a thing. Look at you with the things. Now, if I recall correctly, we didn't like it that yeah, much. We, we were bored. Yeah. Um, I remember you saying some version of if this is winter is coming and it arrives, it's like that was it? All right. <laughs> if this was the climax of the whole thing. Yeah. Winter game! And be like, what the f Really? This? This? That's all we get? <laughs> Here's a, they say it's... There's a creamy vanilla on the nose. Yeah, that's what we said. Let's let some strawberry and cream. Yeah. Very sweet. Very light and bright. It's Kleinleash and Cardu, evidently. Yeah. And if I recall correctly, this bottle, when you put it in the freezer, it does something... Some words come out say winter is coming. Right. Yeah, winter came a long time ago, y'all. It's fine. It's fine. It's light. And pretty, and it is also 41.7. Oh, they took it to 41.7. How weird, right? Wow, oh. yeah, wow, it's strawberries and cream, yeah, it is, or berries and cream. It's much creamier than I remembered, mm hmm. Like that, that sweet, with a little bit of a tannic, that sweet, sweet, desserty, creamy, little bit of a slight earthy bite. At the very, very, very end of the aftertaste. That is a very uh, market-friendly flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the people who are Game of Thrones fans, but not necessarily whiskey fans, back in the day when they were doing this, I think they probably would have found some flavors that were easy to love. Yeah. Keep track of these, because you got to remember which one's which, because we really want to see this. Wait. Did yeah. you get a difference? Uh, there's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. There's a. Is it because our bottle's been open for longer? I don't know, man. But the first one you poured me, like that, cr that vanilla creaminess, yeah. that's more pronounced on the nose. On the second one you poured me, the earth is more pronounced. The earth and the earth is. So the second one I poured you is the one we got two years ago. Okay. Is the earthy and a little, and a little bit more maltiness in that? Yeah. Thing. Yeah. The malt <laughs> funk. Yeah. Well, that's. I guess that I should correct that. That's what I'm thinking of. The the lower tones. Yeah. That malt <laughs> funk. That is a, I mean, if you if you know your way around the whiskey, that is a noticeably mm -hmm. different whiskey. There's a lot of shared elements, but you can tell the difference is the point. Okay. Yeah, absolutely you can. It, yeah. It's probably uh, 85 to 90% overlap. Yeah. But that 10% is pretty distinct. You know what, I like I like the first one you poured me better. Yeah, it's the creamier strawberry, the prettier yeah, it's one. It's a richer cream. Yeah, the, whereas this one is simple and malty and then sweet, mm -hmm. but not like a nice rich berries and cream. Well, it's like a thin berries and cream on this. The richness of the cream shows up in the first one you poured. I wonder if that's just evap. I wonder if it's been in an empty how, bottle for too empty? long. How empty? It's not that empty. It's really hard to see through this bottle. 
Can we just no, it's not that. It's not that empty. I'm too short Here, for that just light. Open the thing and look in. It's hard. To, I did that already, but you can't really tell how far down it is because it's totally narrow. Can you see? No, <laughs> that bottle is not Here. help. Here, I, I can do it. You have a flashlight in your pocket. Oh yeah, it's right. Boom! It's very yeah, it's so close to the top. It's hard to tell it's where. It's right. Yeah, it's yeah. It's really close to full. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. I can't believe that paid off. Interesting. <laughs> it's not. Neither one of them is is like. Well, yeah, this is wrong. Right. It's like they're definitely aimed at the same target. But depending on which one was the bullseye, right. the other one is on the first ring on the edge of the bullseye, maybe puncturing red slightly. So. I'm gonna pose this question. Hmm. Are any and all whiskey reviews, and I may be putting this out of a job, I don't care, it's fine. They don't pay me here anyways. No, it's not putting this out of a job because <laughs> we just have to review it again over and over We and just over. have to review all of the bottles. Uh, all over again. No, but are, are whiskey reviews suddenly, whenever there is like a noticeable variation, mm -hmm. how much can you even depend on, lean on a review because in the, if a big distillery like this, granted mm -hmm. limited release, but if a big distillery is fun, is doing something where it's no, it's noticeable. Right. That's my chicken. Oh, you're bringing it in here? No, no, no. Take that outside. No, 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 we're here. Bring my take chicken. that outside. No, bring it in. I can't <laughs> smell. I'm not going to sit here smelling chicken the entire time. You're we're not going to sit here. Whiskey. You're not going to sit here smelling chicken. You're going to stand here. No. Smelling chicken. Thank no. you. No. That was cool. Thank you. Alex. Oh, sweet You're Jesus. Welcome. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, this smells delicious. Why would you do well, that? You're not going to need those anymore because you're eating chicken and drinking soda. So I'll go ahead and take that whiskey. Chicken law. Because you, oh, you law. are now useless to any... Uh, I tell you, there's definitely no relevance in the reviews if they all eat Chick-fil-A while they're reviewing yeah, whiskey. Like a, like a waffle fries type of deal. Yeah, exactly. Mm. No, that's super interesting. I am... Uh, I'm surprised at how different that was. Because maybe we could like, you know, poke at it and fuss at it and project onto it a difference, but that's a meaningful difference there. Let's see here. Richmond in 96. What am I tasting in bourbon that's not in Scotch High Tribe? I'm new to whiskey, but I'm new to understanding the different types of whiskey being, he's been binging vaults and tribe videos all week and I've discovered he loves Scotch. Mm, he likes Especially malt. compared to bourbon. He has compared the Highland Park 12, the Glenfiddich 12, the Larceny, and the Wild Turkey 101. I keep getting what I think is a grassy flavor from the bourbon. That's not in scotch. Not fresh cut grass, but dried out grass clippings. Oh, almost like a dried out vegetable. Yeah, uh, he's actually getting in there. He's that's dying. what we refer to, like that corn mm -hmm. grain note it in is, bourbon. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't call it a note either, more of a dominant flavor. Is it corn, wheat, oak, corn. something else? Is barley what I love about scotch? Yes. Likely, yeah. You've just discovered your grain preference, which is actually pretty amazing. But yeah, and it yeah. really helps you narrow down your flavors. You're tasting uh, basically the bottles that you're likely to be enjoyed. Yeah, that's impressive for so early in the game. Dreaming Wolf 83, 82. Why is it Daniel can remember all of the d ridiculous nuances about what legally constitutes proof, but can't seem to recall something that has been said on the show literally hundreds of times? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is more likely? That I can't remember? No, that's true. No, you can't. Or. <laughs> so you can't. No, there's just two things that are something happening. Something else. There's just two things. Nope, it's not true at all. There's two things that are happening here. One. Uh, he can't remember. Two, he'll say that he can because he wants to save face because he can't remember. And I just knock it out every time. <laughs> Except like, the last time. Like butter. Because it had been two weeks and you forgot the pattern. <laughs> what? <laughs> you've, what? Got the, you've got the beats. I look, I'm, I'm, you had to restart a couple of months. The amount, you hit it still. But the, you had a stutter start. The amount of handicapping of myself that I do. So as not to overshadow you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... Of, there's, is that the short story by like Kurt Vonnegut where everyone has to wear weights and pretty people have to wear ugly masks and all this thing to even out society? Yes. So yes. you're wearing an ugly mask why do in you a fat think, suit? Why do you think... <laughs> <laughs> it all makes so much more sense Why now. do you think I keep shaving my head? <laughs> it's like, I gotta meet this hobbity bastard at his level. <laughs> He's got no shot unless I, unless I chip away. At this Adonis like and short shorts. Adonis like physique. Short shorts and half shirts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it takes to take uh, the edge off. Oh wait, did we already do the questions? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we already did the questions. 
Yeah, it was an interesting thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed yeah. with the variants. Uh, I so impressed or surprised? I'm surprised and impressed that we could pick up on a difference. Yeah, like ah, oh, that's actually real. And eventually, you get like a chicken finish. <laughs> yeah, I am now. Waffle fries and chicken. Oh. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> fight me a fight for a steal a bit, you steal your liver. Side. And if you drink, may, may you drink with us. Funny hop phenomena. I've got a name here. What does it say? I, it's hard to The magnificent here. postages. Ah! The bottle lord. The bo I'm trying to think plural. The bottle lords. I don't know why I couldn't think of that.